Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. So, looking at the Black Templars Primus Crusader Squad 118 scale uh, Joy Toy figures from the Games Workshop's Warhammer 40k game. Uh, these are looking fantastic from the pictures I've seen. The pictures on the box appear to be photographs of the toys, which is reassuring because they can do some poses. And on the back, we can see the individual four figures is that Raymond, Eclard, Adagram and Siumus look pretty cool uh, nice to have more additions to the Black Templars uh, these are body 2.0 and you see that they are 12 cm tall so in line of all the other body 2.0s but we will check the articulation nonetheless and see if there's any improvements to those shoulders, but unfortunately I doubt there will be. Uh, very excited about these. Let's have a quick open up and see. Now, the other day I had my um, Blood Angels come, and one lot came in a box like this, and one lot came separately all sealed. So I'm wondering if the ones in the boxes, like this big box, have their name cards. Because my Blood Angels in individual boxes didn't have name cards. So maybe this could be a way of telling. And no, I didn't open the individual boxes to look for name cards. Because I want to keep that box sealed for now. Um, I'm going to just pick up the tape here on these. And have a quick look at the boxes. Then I'll pause the video to unbox. And we can have a look inside. Okay, so, first one, this is Raymond, probably my favourite, favourite, judging by the way he looks there. Shows his contents, love those sort of chains coming down there. He does look particularly cool, has to be said. I am liking that a lot. Very, very cool. Next box, this is the is it Eclard, maybe? Again, looks good there. Very nice that they can uh, chain their weapons to their wrists. Is there anything in the lore about that that someone can share? Since I know pretty much zero or very, very little about 40k lore, because I was always into a fantasy. Very nice again. And this one is Seamus. Then lastly, Adagram. Again, those chains to chain his weapons to his wrists. And we see those standard uh, body 2.0 hands. So this is just really a... I'm going to say it. And most of these things are almost identical. You know, it's the... It's just a little bit of detail, a little bit of colour, different insignias and whatnot. But having said that, that doesn't mean I don't want to get them all. They do look fantastic. And I am in the fortunate position where Joy Toy do send me most of the stuff they make. But not all of it, even though I do buy it anyway. Just in case, because sometimes they don't send me stuff. So it's a good thing I actually did purchase it. Okay, I'm going to uh, pause this, unbox them, set them up, and then we'll get into it. So back in an instant for you guys. And if you do like this sort of content, please consider joining the Patreon. We get a chance to win items like this. And we had a winner just uh, last Sunday gone, which was the 6th of November, who won this exact set. And it'll be sent out to him by Jorto directly in the next three or four days, most likely. Okay, so let me just pause this, set them up, and we'll take a closer look. Okay, here we are. Took a little to set up, uh, working out how the chains work, but these guys are spectacular. And I'm pleased to say I was wrong about something. Their shoulders have improved. Perhaps not in the ways we'd like, but they have improved, and we'll look at that a little bit later on. They do look fantastic. Let's get a close look. First, let's look at uh, Adagrom. This guy here who's in the most dynamic pose. Because I took a bit longer with him. Let's get a nice focus. Looks really nice. See how the chains attach. This just goes over the handle. This little plastic part stretches over the skull and goes to the top there. And he's got his other weapon here. Simple paintwork on his black. 
that looks very effective. This is some nice sort of dry brushing or edge highlighting on the pauldrons there. Very, very cool. And the only thing I'll say about him is this little part here. There's this little strap here which keeps coming up and popping off. But other than that, he's pretty damn cool. Looks very good. Do like that a lot. And the next one in the next sort of semi-dynamic pose, that is Siumus. Siumus or Siumus or another name. He also comes with a sword as well. See how it goes over the bottom of the handle. This one on the picture, I have to sort of force over the uh, gun there. But it makes it a little bit difficult for him to hold it. But he can hold it. But it's a bit, look at his hand, a bit, meh. He should have taken, it, taken a bit more time. Now you see that he's actually quite contorted in his posing ability, which is nice. And the body is different. You see the actual white cloak is sculpted onto the body here, which is a nice feature. And he's got the little skull on the shoulder, which... The other guy didn't have. In fact, I think two have and two don't have. Very nice looking. Then we come to the next one. And this one is, is it Ecolade? Ecolade maybe. Chain goes around the barrel. I did the further away as opposed to here. So it's easier for him to actually hold it. And again, this one just slips stretches over the skull of the sword and to the uh, top of the handle very nice looking and then to the last one who comes with the bigger sort of flamer he has another chain which is not attached he also comes with a smaller gun and again with one of these nice looking swords with the skull so let's have a look at raymond i think his name is odium on the side wasn't that a character from that tv show recently i forgot what it's called quite a good tv show is that martin ford playing odin that huge sort of six foot nine english bodybuilder the world's scariest man he calls himself i think anyway i digress raymond does look good some nice features Nice looking thing. Now one of them, I think it was this one here. His little elbow part came off, but I just pushed it back on. You know, a bit of glue and that'll fix it. Very cool. And this one is just goes around, you see, and just goes to the bottom of the handle to hold it. I did put the chain on this one and try to get over sort of there. There's like, yeah, it's too much hard work. Or stick it over the handle here, but I thought, nah. Very, very cool. Four very nice looking figures. I think they've done a better job on these than some of the other ones, even though I like pretty much all the releases. Now, I'm going to go through articulation and I want to show you what I've noticed in my quick setting up and playing with these guys. So if I take his gun off, take the, uh, you watch here, I can just pull that off the bottom. Take the gun out of this hand, the chain for this, literally you can probably do it over the hand. I actually popped the hand out. Let me see if I can do it over the hand. I popped the hand out and went straight over the wrist and I did it, but it looks like he can go over the hand. There we go. And then this one, let's get the sword out first. Then let's get this one just, see, this is what I mean. This is the part that comes off. Let's get this chain off his wrist. Okay, then over his hand. And while I'm here, you can see how it's like on the sword. That plastic is very uh, stretchy. So I was thinking, how's that going first of all? Does the skull come off? You stretch it over and that it comes off. Okay, so this part is what I'm talking about. See the strap here? It sort of half goes over the hole and that hole is where his uh, peg is. Okay, so look at articulation and I'll show you what I've noticed in terms... Notice in terms of shoulder improvement. There could be just one off on a couple of figures, but I think I was on all of these guys. That's it. <sighs> one more time, then I'll go for articulation with or without it. Okay, let's try. Uh, it is in, but when you turn it down, it wants to pop out again. 
I should have really not had that strap going down or had it. Can it go above and stick it above? Maybe that would be easier. Okay, so leave it off. Okay, so articulation. So uh, top to bottom. Nozzles. They do move. Head. Left, right, up, down, side to side. Shoulders all the way around. Now, if I go out to the side, look what doesn't happen. Can you see what doesn't happen? His arm is not popping out like it used to. So that is an improvement. And this feels far more uh, movable than previously. You can still take the shoulders out, I would imagine. But they don't pop out every five seconds when you're trying to do something on the lateral. There we go. Came out, but that took a bit of effort. So that is a welcome improvement to the shoulder articulation. The fact that the shoulders are far more securely in now. They probably just made the pins a little bit longer, I don't know. Or maybe made a whole smaller. Bicep articulation is fantastic if you get the right alignment. Well over 90 degrees, you can see there. We know that the, the trunk is off. The, look at that. I mean, there's a nasty gap there. But look, that is just phenomenal upper body trunk and on left and right, and he can turn, and he can bind with the waist, and he's approaching 90, I can't do that, he's approaching 90 degrees, but you can see inside him there. Uh, forwards won't be quite as good, he's going to pop out a joint, but sideways is really quite spectacular, he's doing the shot put, Olympics, as you can see. He did pop a little bit then. Hips, are, this we get the, some of the sculpting getting in the way, not too far apart but it still is decent enough the nose a thigh turn I should have pointed out there is a bicep turn and his hands have double barbells so the wrists and hands are phenomenal uh, double kneecap which is really tight we get this really nasty little sort of a kneecap hole there you can see that really can't be avoided unless you've got skin or artificial skin feet have a left and right they have a swivel side to side you have to push towards the camera and up and in for the uh, Tippy toe and then push because that pushes the um, heel underneath. Then push back <clears throat> like this. So the front part goes underneath the shin armor for the dorsiflexation. And there's toe articulation. Now that pushing forwards and backwards didn't make sense. Let me show you again. If I don't push it towards the camera, what can happen is this. That is now clashing with this and it won't go anymore. But if I push towards the camera, it now goes underneath there. So just a simple trick. So I would say articulation, the shoulders. Now I've popped that before and it's still quite firm. I now prefer same angle as the others, but it's not popping out all the time, which is, which is a big improvement in my book. But I still wish that Joy Toy would attach the pauldron from the bottom here internally on like a barbell joint because then you get a far more range of motion but that's just my thinking what do i know i've just been playing with toys for years and years and years and got thousands of videos on youtube anyway great looking figures a great set i'm very happy for my uh patreon who won this is gonna be very happy when he gets them i'd imagine in about 10 to 14 days because once they're sent it should be about five to 10 days for FS Express, which I'm assuming... No, actually, no, they use, a, they use a courier, maybe? A different courier? Anyway, it should be under under two weeks, under 14 days, to get some heel really, really like these a lot, I'm sure. Okay, again, like this content, please consider joining the Patreon. I shared the link earlier. There's also a link in the video description. Like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and smash that notification icon bell so you don't miss a video when it's published. And I've got loads in the queue to be published. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.